Hey guys, welcome to Michelle's Opinions. Today I want to talk about prayers and channeling. Well, what I've come to understand is what some call prayers, others call channeling. And when you let go and you flow, um, let's see, the Christians would call it flowing in the spirit, maybe uh, speaking in tongues, praying for those things that we know not, so we allow the spirit to flow and pray for us. Others are more connected and understand and let that spirit flow through them, and they call it channeling. The messages, guys, in my opinion, they're coming from the same place. They're coming from source, God Almighty, wherever it is, wherever, you know, we are connecting back and the information is coming through each of us in the way that we can handle it with letting go of fear. So, you know, if you're afraid, uh, you know, somebody says, oh, channeling, that's of the devil. Well, then praying and praying in tongues or praying to the spirit, wouldn't that be from the devil too? Something I think about, guys. Um, we walk around and, and judge people on the things that they are doing because we we learn from books or we've been raised a certain way or certain doctrines tell us certain things. We have to behave this way and do this and you know hold our stomach, touch our head, jump up and down on one leg. And I'm finding out that you know that's not necessarily the truth there. If we dig deeper and we seek and we persist and push through and stop with the fear, stop fear mongering. It's not necessary because the, the same message, the same beautiful message, is coming through a friend that is, has, has proclaimed their gift of channeling. That is coming through a very Christian, devout Christian person who says they're praying in tongues. So, you know. Once we get to the point where we realize that we are in this together, we are all co-creating together, whether asleep or awake, no matter what you think of the person, whether they've gotten the understanding yet that they're co-creating what is going on around them, or if they're aware that they are co-creating, it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, whether you're aware or not, you're, you know, it, there's like that song, even if you uh, don't make a choice, you still have made a choice. So they are co-creating and just as much as somebody who is aware. Now, what I will say is once you become aware that you are co-creating, a heavy responsibility comes along with that. And when you become aware that you are co-creating what is going on around you, there is responsibility that comes with that. So, you know, although somebody else may be co-creating in their sleep, they know not what they do. So how can you hold them, you know, in blame because of their lack of understanding? So that's what I wanted to talk about today was prayer versus channeling. What differences do you guys see in them? The message is the same. And it's about love, forgiveness, togetherness, and it's heart-based. Hmm, wouldn't you think they're coming from the same source, same God Almighty? I love you guys. Peace. I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon.